walking out into the middle of the Bay Area. This is what it is. We are literally standing on the Tampa Bay. Okay, this is crazy, right? Walking out where Bay should be. First of all, it's dangerous, so you shouldn't be doing it. But second of all, where did the water go? It's something that's called wind-induced setback. It's the exact opposite of storm surge, and it's dangerous because the storm surge is in fact coming. But let me explain why this has happened. And it's not just Tampa Bay. It's a lot of these bays on the West Coast. We saw it happen in the Bahamas as well. We've got the winds out of the east going toward the west, and they are so strong, they're actually pushing that water out of the bays. But on the back side of the eye of the storm, look how the winds change. They come back out of the west, and that's going to cause the water to swing back in and that's where things get incredibly dangerous because we are talking about significant storm surge in these images here you're looking at water that's maybe five six feet below what the normal tide would be and look at this forecast for storm surge you're looking at five to eight feet above what the normal tides would be so there's a big shift coming on the back side of that storm and it is a dangerous one too so this was some pretty incredible stuff. A little bit earlier on Sunday, Tampa, Florida, where, you know, the beaches had retreated like crazy. People were out on the beach where there's usually a lot of water. It's usually the ocean, and the ocean went backwards. It went, you know, farther out to sea. It's just crazy. You could actually see the bottom uh, of the ocean for a good little area there on the beach. The beach was basically extended. And a lot of people there were probably thinking, hey, they were telling us about this storm surge. They're saying that the water's going to come up onto land. What's going on here? It still is going to. That's why it's extremely dangerous. All those people that were out there before too long, things are going to shift. So let me explain to you what's going on with this whole situation. Here's the storm. It's spinning counterclockwise. Basically, this whole storm surge situation and the ocean going back and the ocean coming onto land, it has to do with the wind direction. So on the north side of the storm, because of the counterclockwise flow, it's blowing the ocean back out to sea, right? So that's why you're getting those beaches that are a little bit more exposed initially. This happened in Naples, it happened in Marco Island, it happened everywhere because the storm was coming from the south. But here's the thing, why, like I said, it's going to shift very, very quickly uh, when these winds start coming in off of the ocean directly on shore that's when you get your big time storm surge problems. And let me just give you an idea of what the storm surge looked like in Miami a little bit earlier. And by the way, this was only about three to four feet of storm surge. You can see Seidel was reporting live out there. He's almost up to his waist in it. That's downtown Miami. And so remember, that's about three to four feet. Parts of the West Coast, you can see we're forecasting six to 10, if not 10 to 15 feet of surge. This is the number one killer when it comes to tropical systems. So make sure to take it seriously.
this is the St. John's River behind me. That's what overflowed its banks and flooded neighborhoods in downtown Jacksonville like never before. Mr. Mayor, good morning to you. And we understand your city and your area is now dealing with some real major issues. Yeah, good morning, Matt and Savannah. Yes, that's true. Uh, we, we received about 25 inches of rain in 24 hours. Wow. So we've got a tremendous amount of flooding throughout the city. Most of the flooding we have is from the rain, not from an ocean breach. And so uh, we did. Yeah. We what did. Are you, how are you handling getting residents out? I mean, did you have evacuations? Well, right now we're in the initial damage assessment mode. So the police department, fire department, public works department, and electrical department are out canvassing roads, making sure that they're safe. So. Our instructions that it still stay inside unless there's a medical emergency and they can contact us, but we've got a lot of work to do. Mr. Mayor, when you, when you saw this storm come ashore in the Keys 500 miles away from you, did you ever think you'd see this kind of impact where you were? Well, I, uh, we were prepared for it, certainly, and, and thanks to uh, the city of Jacksonville, we also uh, distribute resources to help us prepare. I think we were as prepared as we could be, but Matt, I think your, your question is, did I expect it? Not, not really.